What's up guys, Mr. Dan here. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I've been getting ready for my uh, Hummer race. Put a couple more choices up on Instagram. And I still have a few Hummers left if anybody wants to pick. And you can certainly pick a Hummer that that's already been picked. Um, we'll see if we can do that today. At the very end of this video, I'm just gonna walk outside and give my track a practice run. But I've been going through my collection and kind of get, trying to get organized. And you always find these cars that, that you've seen in other videos. There's been a lot of weird coincidences lately. For example, there was just a Mr. Mom Instagram post where he had a couple of these that he was going to race. I had no idea what it was, so it was in my box of question marks. So it turns out it's a Peugeot. So that was pretty cool that I was able to identify that one. He said it was fast, and I kind of feel like it is going to be fast. So I think I must have bought that loose and just forgot when I bought it. And then I've been uh, enjoying uh, the videos from our friend Scorpio Love Smith, of course. He had a car from the Main Street series. See at the bottom where it says Hot Wheels Main Street. And I chimed in and I was like, oh yeah, there was like four or five cars that year that they picked. They picked real towns. And I forget where his car was from. This one's from Delran, New Jersey. That's the town next to me. That's the one color variation of it. Here's the other one. That's the logo for their fire department. And then the other one I have is the Annapolis, Maryland Fire Rescue. Pretty cool. Uh, Mustang Mach 1, I believe. And uh, it turns out they actually did the Main Street series like two years in a row, and there was like 10 cars each, so there's a bunch of those. Those are pretty cool to collect, especially if you're, you live close to one of these towns. So I thought that was funny. And then speaking of Dixie Challenger, they kind of made this into like a fake General Lee at one point without the hood tampo, I believe. Uh, I'm actually going to show you some videos, some pictures on my camera in a second here, which is going to be awkward, but I don't have time to edit right now. And we're kind of rearranging some rooms in the house. So I'm out in the sunroom. This is my table I used to customize on. Got some, found some old wheels that might come in handy. But, uh, so, uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. But anyway, this was a, uh, cookout car we got a couple years ago in 2017. That was the second annual cookout we had for our Hot Wheels Club. This is the first one Harry and I attended. So a guy from a partner club in Maryland made these. I wish I could give him credit. But we collected all these, uh, challengers. This isn't a Dixie Challenger. This is a Charger, I believe. We collected all these, and then he this awesome i might have to open this one day one day i don't know put it on the track i don't actually have an ertl uh general lee but uh i thought that was really cool and again a funny connection because i just seen that video and then i found this i was organizing my tri-state collection i collect cars from the tri-state area pennsylvania delaware new jersey and that's what we actually the club is called the pennsylvania new jersey delaware hot wheels club and uh, we actually had a race, a Facebook streaming race, since we couldn't attend our meeting. And Harry actually won with this car, not this Zamac version of Zodic, but just a Zodic. It was actually cool to watch on, on Facebook uh, streaming. Uh, it was all fantasy cars. It was just a cool thing, you know, we just picked how many cars we wanted, and then they were picked at random for us, so maybe that's my secret, is to let somebody else pick. But we enjoyed that, that was two weeks ago on a Saturday. We put it on our big screen TV. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at those pictures. Like I said, this is going to be weird because I'm going to show you pictures on my phone. But there's a General Lee. Uh, our President Wes had a garage sale, so one of the members that has this General Lee, which is unbelievable to see close up. I mean, it, so many details. Uh, his name's Tom Felice. He hasn't been there in a while. I did see the car about year ago i actually brought my oldest daughter not my oldest daughter my other daughter Amanda. uh and i was like look it's the general lee and she's like what's that but i'm skipping ahead here because i don't want to there's some pictures of harry in there but i don't want i want this to be uh, this video to be approved for uh, comments so and there's uh somebody else i forget who owns this car this is a hazard county police car that was pretty cool so there was a scene in scorpio's video which looked like almost like 
uh, from exactly like a scene we had in the parking lot here. Right, let me make sure I don't get any kids. Yeah. Now check out the, uh, the sign there up close. That would be pretty cool for a customizer to do. Bridge out Hazard Road Department. Let me see. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to show anymore because it's a weird format and I don't want to get Harry in there. Uh, what else have I found? Oh yeah, Scorpio Love Smith. He had he had one of these, right? Which is funny because I had one of these out when I was watching the video. The Fiero and a ShopRite uh, Highway Hauler, I believe. So I wasn't going to open that. But then I noticed, number one, uh, the other Highway Hauler I had is a little bit different. And, you know, I don't really care. So I'm going to open it right now. And maybe we can actually hook up a little Fiero race. We can decorate them. You know, kind of spirit in the spirit of the, uh, the crazy Jimmy uh, fake uh, Ferrari Fiero from that hilarious 3D bot maker race, which Harry and I watch all the time on our big screen, by the way. Uh, but I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, we can do something with that. I don't know. Maybe some add some kind of, everybody can add some kind of decoration or something. I don't know, just an idea. But it would be pretty funny to continue that. There's the other one. And yes, ShopRite is a real, <laughs> ShopRite is a real uh, supermarket. I do collect, I have collected ShopRite vehicles. Uh, they're made just for ShopRite, not Mattel. Specifically, I don't think Mattel's done anything with ShopRite in years, but there's a Shop From Home 143rd scale van. It's pretty cool. I mean, it looks exactly like the one you see in the ShopRite parking lot. I'm going to show you some tractor trailers in a second. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. Found this. I forgot all about this. I gave some money to a Kickstarter some years ago for uh, at TYO Toys for a, a drift pad, and I don't think that version ever got off the ground. But I did actually, a drift pad, I guess it was for drift pad 10. I had one of the earlier drift pads. I can't show it to you now. It's not even at my house at the moment, but I was always gonna set up a drift pad track and try to have a drift race. So I thought that was cool. I forgot all about that. Oh yeah, I've been organizing a lot of my science experiment stuff. I got all kinds of science experiments. That's a whole another sort of hobby of mine. And I found this in amongst those, but not with my Hot Wheels cars. One of these rubber burners. Thought that was pretty cool. So, have to mess with that pretty soon. And let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Another weird coincidence. Just saw a perhaps Mr. Groove's video where he was showing off this uh, treasure hunt, the Toyota off road truck. That's the Super. One of the few supers that I have. I've got about five or six. Most of them from ShopRite, to be honest with you. And there's the regular one. Which, as he commented, even the super, unfortunately, has a plastic spare tire. Which is unfortunate. But, at least it's not like this plastic spare tire. Which is different from this one. It's just very, no treads or anything on it. It's just very generic. But this, I think this is a... Uh, all plastic car from the playset, that's why. Anyway, didn't mean to go on there, but let's, oh, what else did I get? Oh, I got something else from Mr. Grooves. That's his uh, eBay store. What did I get? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was cool to get this monster truck. Just to have one of them. Was this Jeff Gordon? I don't remember. But the 20, this is a muscle machine, so this is not like a monster jam or a monster truck. It's got this kind of unique suspension. I don't know if you, whoops, let me get that, you can see it on the bottom. So this is, I believe this is actually the Bigfoot. This is supposed to be their Bigfoot. And I have a couple more of these. This, this is also called Bigfoot. These are different though, definitely different. Uh, this one also has this cover that comes off, which doesn't fit on here because they have different, they're different bodies, but I believe they were both called Bigfoot. And this is the uh, Wolfman one, which you may have seen in earlier videos, which again has that kind of different suspension so I'd love to do lots of monster truck videos if I can squeeze them in but anyway let's go outside let me grab this guy to test the track whoops there you go there's my thumb
got to get it. Anyway, still got a couple Ferraris, seven and eight. No one has picked those. The funny thing is, the, <laughs> the first three that were picked were like one, two, three. The same Hot Wheels Humvee, okay? And may, or maybe and maybe this one. Oh, no one's picked this one yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Do you really want to pick the same one, though? Anyway. And then someone finally picked this Matchbox Color Shifters. Uh, Michael Duzinski. Thanks for... Thanks, ah, thanks for subscribing. And then, uh... I just thought it was funny. We got an H2 Concept and a Hummer H2. No one's picked yet. And then if you follow me on Instagram, I had a couple other choices, which I found. Of course, we got the woodpe Woodpecker going. Sorry about that light. Anyway, there's my ShopRite tractor trailers. There's a 140 143rd scale. If you just kind of keep going, if you go back a bunch and look, you'll eventually find these like for half price a lot of times. But, you know, two's enough. I didn't need to keep going year after year. Anyway, let's check it out. Like again, like I said, there's no editing, so you're just gonna have to walk outside with me. Hopefully the rain holds out today. So we can maybe do some racing, so get your picks in. This is actually our home gym area that Harry and I, we've been pretty good. My legs are sore, I gotta tell you that. So this is what I came up with. So I'm gonna do at least, I'm gonna, I might have multiple races, so I'll start keeping score, give you guys points, come up with a point system. I do wanna do one straight, just downhill race to see who's the fastest. But I figure with uh, Humvees, you gotta have some obstacles, so. Here you see I've got some, uh, this is going to be tough obstacle. I've got one wheel's going to be in the gravel and the other wheel's going to be in the water. Okay. <laughs> so it's probably going to be like who goes the farthest. Let's give it a shot. So far, these are not actually handled as well as the Humvees. It's going to be awkward. Oh, so the off-road did pretty well. The Jurassic Park matchbox. Epic fail on the loops. They've actually been doing the loops fairly well, but this is what I've come up with for now. I might uh, try one on the blue track at some point. But, uh, oh yeah, and I forgot all about these things. These are actually pretty cool. I, I forgot I got three of them, but that's why. Check that out. That's a steal years ago. Alrighty, guys. Uh, if you haven't picked a Hummer, go ahead and pick one, and I'll talk to you guys soon.